Hello and welcome, I am Scarperlock, and this is City of Villains on the Rebirth server. We are with our level 24 uh, character, Nightmare Lass. She says, it says level 23, but I'm about to level up. So what I didn't realize is it's extra experience, like triple experience weekend. And um, so this is sort of because the server was down for a while, so I've been getting way more XP than I realized. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much with this character. So I was going to go ahead and play a little bit today. But the main thing is I hit level 24, so I wanted you guys to see my power picks. I've been sort of hemming and hawing over this because there are simultaneously not a lot of good choices and a couple of great choices. What do I mean by this? Well, I've been thinking about the Crack Whip. There's really no point to it. It does about the same damage as Lash, give or take. They both do high damage, and if you look at the numbers down here, Lash does about 20 damage, and then there's some possible ticks, and and then it does a knockback, and Crack Whip does some knockback and about 20 damage, and then there are some ticks. So it, it really doesn't... I mean, I can do the Lash pretty quickly, and if I want to do it faster, I can just put a Recharge Enhancer on it. So at this point, I don't see the point of wasting a Power Pick on basically being able to do the same power twice. Um, it would m allow me to make more attacks, but I hardly ever use the whip anyway unless I want to specifically knock something down, and then they don't get up until the lash recharges anyway. So I really don't see the need to get either of these two attack powers. Obviously we're going to get Demon Prince and Impizzle Empowerment, but we can't get that yet. We can't get any of these things yet, and Conduit of Pain and Share Pain I'm not going to get. So... That suggests pool power, and there are some really interesting pool power choices. Now, I already got Teleport Foe. That was sort of a mistake. But it actually turned out to be a fortuitous mistake because I've been using it to pull enemies to my guys and then just pound them. And so, you know, in a case where maybe there's a, a boss and a couple of minions, I can pull the minions one at a time. Maybe you aggro the boss, maybe you don't. If you go in, you're going to definitely aggro the boss. But if you pull the foe to you, you might be able to pound on the little guys first and then bring send your guys all in to take over the boss. So I think that we're going to keep that for now. I don't feel the need to respec it. That means we really don't have anything to pick at level 24. Recall friend, if you read this carefully, says you can teleport one of your teammates. The target has to be a team or league mate and can be selected from the team window. You can select a far fallen teammate. Range is extremely long, but it doesn't say you can take NPCs. So this whole idea of like using teleport to fix the bugs in the game, I don't think I'm going to be able to do. So then the question was, what do I want to take? And what I really like, um, I got a couple things. I like misdirection, right? Misdirection basically placates the enemies around you. That could work really well when we're being aggroed by ambushes. I don't know if this will override the ambush. It might not. Um, but even if I take aggro, it would be nice to shed it and then let my beasts take it. But the other thing I was looking at here is Rune of Protection. Rune of Protection on myself grants me protection from sleep, hold, immobilize, knockdown, and disorient effects, which my character is very vulnerable to and gives me a little bit of resistance. Now, the recharge time is very long, so this is obviously going to be a panic power. It's a 10-minute recharge. You'd put triple rechargers on it, get it down to about 5 minutes right and it lasts uh how long does it last a minute and a half so you could basically have this up about 30 percent of the time probably not going to need it that much but in order to take this we have to take another power in the sorcery pool because as it says down it won't let me show it but down at the bottom rune protection requires you to have two other powers in the sorcery pool and be at least level 20. We're level 20, but we don't have two. This Mystic Flight and Translocation counts only as a single power because you get them together. Spirit Ward is kind of useless. It allows you to give a little bit of absorption to your uh, allies, but it's it's really weak. I mean, it and it only does it for, it looks like, about 12 seconds. I'm not sure I'd want to bother with that. But one of the ideas I had here is, look, Arcane Bolt actually does more damage at base than our regular attack. It has a chance of a knockback, which is nice, and it's range. It's 80 feet, and one of the things this character just doesn't have is the ability to shoot at range. So when I want to attack somebody and knock them down, I've got to go straight into the middle of the fight. This will allow me to stay out of the battle a little bit more. So I think I'm going to take Arcane Bolt, and we're not going to super enhance it. We'll just put, when the time comes, we'll put Accuracy Enhancers on I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, so take Arcane Bolt and... Um, 
we could probably take Brawl off of here. No, I want to remove it. And then we have our recall uh, foe down here, which is fine. And so now we're ready to do a heist. So I'm going to head to the broker and we'll do a heist and um, see how that goes. Mickey the Filch. So he should give me, and what I'm going to do is, after I get the contact from him, which he should do after I do the heist for him, I'm going to try to double check the contact and the story arc that that contact gives to make sure that it's a pre-issue 18 story arc. As I discussed in the last episode, I don't like the story arcs that came out after Going Rogue, and I'm not going to play them anymore if I can avoid it. And there, there may be a few that I can't avoid simply because I accidentally take them and don't realize you know, if, it, if the information on the wiki is not accurate or not complete, it may not say that it's a post-issue 18, you know, issue 19, issue 20, or whatever um, story arc, and then I'll be stuck. But hopefully I can avoid too many of the newer missions. So ready to go to Paragon City and cause some mayhem, go to Steel Canyon, and hit one of the banks there. So this is a mayhem mission. We're going to rob Steel Canyon Bank. Off we go. Now, because this is extra XP weekend, I'm not going to try to do a lot of mayhem in here because it's just going to, like, I could probably gain an entire level in just this mission in, like, 40 minutes or maybe less, half an hour. Uh, maybe even less than that because the X XP gain is just insane when you're on triple XP. So what I'm going to do is go invisible. Whoops, and I need to fly. And we're going to go get the bank. And we're just going to do the bank. And then we'll see if we can get a contact and a story arc started. And that'll be it for this episode, I suppose. And it's probably going to be it for me playing today, because I don't want to just gain insane amounts of XP with this character. Right? I'm enjoying her. I want her to last. I don't want to just rush through it. Alright, so now we have to remember to pull our enemy, our um, minions before we go in because what's going on? Why are they not summoning some... Oh, because I'm invisible. And of course he can see me anyway because even though I'm invisible they can always see you. So what I was going to say, and of course it took me a long time because I forgot I was invisible You've got to pull your minions immediately because you will be ambushed, but we're being ambushed anyway. I thought that would happen after we went inside. So you may as well wait for it. And we now have two demon princes. So that means we have to rename Mo to... We have to rename this guy to Larry. So we have Larry and Mo now. And let's buff our guys. So now this is going to be a pain in the neck trying to buff every single guy. Alright, and there's a longbow, so let's fight him. So now we're going to be even more formidable because we have two, like, lieutenant class minions, whatever you want to call them. Right, if you look at... So Eni ranks as a blue con. He ranks as level 22, and Larry ranks as level 23, and I'm level 24, right? And then, I guess when we pull the Demon Prince, he will be ranked at our level. Guards, come on. It is really annoying. Wow, oh, that's a boss. Um, it's really annoying that it, it you can't touch the citizens, but it still will select them, which is really annoying. So now we should be getting some heal help. Our uh, lieutenant minions, whatever you want to call them, the bigger guys, Larry and Mo, are able to heal. Both can heal. And now he's stuck, which is frustrating. Um, they can both heal. So that will be very useful. Alright, guys, come with me.
And now it's going to get very crowded in these hallways. But you're going to see these guys just absolutely melt now. Because my minions are going to do so much damage. When both of the uh, big guys can be brought to bear. So now you're seeing nearly full powered mastermind. We have to wait another couple levels to get to the demon prince. But, you know, having, you know, a, a full powered mastermind has six minions. We have five right now. Or I guess they call them henchmen, right? And that is what Mastermind is like. So we started out um, about 25 episodes ago with um, just one little demon. And then we got two. And then three. And then we had a, a third guy that was bigger. And then another little one. And now we have two of the bigger ones. We have five guys. And it is pretty cool. I mean, you're, you're basically your own team as a Mastermind. I gotta tell you, it was absolute chaos and mayhem and insanity being, say, like a Dominator or something on a team with three or four Masterminds, all of them having this many guys. I mean, it was just, you couldn't even see what the heck was going on. Because there were just so many um, minions, henchmen, you know, running about. All attacking different guys and stuff, attacking different enemies. Doesn't look like. Um, doesn't look like the uh, the cops are coming right now. And the vault door is nearly defeated. Oh, I can actually shoot it now. Let's look what let, what arcane bolt looks like. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like this the arcane spell effects. I'm gonna have to change the color though. All right, guys, you can stay back there and guard me. Yep, they're guarding me, and I was shot. So let's let them beat these guys, and then I'll grab the glowy. Yeah, so they're not going to attack my buddies. They're just going to attack me. We should be able to grab the cash now before we get an ambushed again. There we go. And now we head out, and we got to defeat the hero. He's going to try to stop us. So we'll go down the elevator, and my guess is they'll be downstairs waiting for us. Send my guys up ahead. Where's the hero? Alright guys, go scout it out. And there's the hero. Oh no, that's just the longbow. There's the hero. Okay, take out the longbow first. And now go take out the hero. Wow, ouch. Oh, man, that is some serious damage. And I am in prison now. So now I have to break out. Yeah, he was a plus one boss, it looked like. So now the stupid part is... I am probably going to have to go back into the bank to defeat the hero, even though I'm actually out of the bank. And I'm not going to have lost my money, which I should have, right? They should have recovered the money, and I should kind of have to go back and get it again, I would think. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does some decent damage. And it recharges fast enough. Put a couple recharge enhancers on these guys, and I could probably alternate just the two of them. Alright, buddies. Come with me. Now we're going to have to fight our way out of the police station, I assume. Yep, SWAT team. Oh, and there's the hero. And I gotta get away from that guy. Holy cow, look at the. This is nuts. I don't know if I'm gonna succeed at this. Oh, I am stuck. And he's gonna kill me. Wow. Alright, so I gotta rethink this. I did not realize. So this is the problem. The ambush just finds you anywhere you are on the map. And so now I got to face both the ambush of the SWAT team and the ambush of the banks, the bank guys. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to succeed at that. Especially if I can't get out. Like I can't fly up away from the guy, right? Because it's indoors. So he can just keep knocking me down. You guys can attack the door. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I might have something in my email I can use. Survival amplifier. I don't know what this does. What does that do? A little bit of regeneration. Team dual inspiration. We can grab that. And another one. And another one. So maybe we can do some of these inspirations and get protected. So that should help a little bit. Kill. Man, there's just so many of them. Alright, guys. And not one of them is attacking any of my, my minions. So I don't have to worry about like healing my minions, that's for sure. So, if we take out all their minions, the boss shouldn't be a huge problem. And there's the boss. Okay, go get him. Alright, my minions, I kind of have them surrounded now. See, I don't know if he can get out. Or he might not be able to move because he might have the old school version of... Um, unstoppable, or what, unyielding, where you can't move. That's possible. No, no run away. Man, plus one boss, yeah, they're rough. Oh, there's another SWAT guy, but let's finish the boss. Try to shoot him and knock him down. Nope, missed him. Great, he's a lieutenant. But the boss is almost done. Okay, and now... And we have completed the mission. Alright, so we only died two times. You can see they have not doing anything to my minions. They're just attacking me. Alright guys, I think that's enough. We completed the mission, and we should be able to get another contact. Wow, that was a lot longer than I expected it to be. 
Mostly because of screw-ups on my part. Alright, so let's call Mickey the Filch. Or go to Mickey the Filch. <clears throat> you can see we got almost, what, three beads just from that one mission. <clears throat> and those inspirations saved my life from the uh, bonus packs. Introduced to a new contact. So Lawrence and Zaldo and Vince Dombrowski. So let me take a look. I had written out <clears throat> which guys are, um, I think, the correct ones I want. So let me just uh, pause it here, and I'll bring you back when I know which one of these contacts I want. All right, I think we're going to do Vince Dabrowski. Oh, there's also Captain Petrovich. I think we're going to do Vince Dabrowski. He has a scope against scrap routers, which we haven't fought much before, and I think that'll be interesting. Oh, I should have actually kept that. There he is. So he's a level 20 to 24 contact, so we need to do him now. And so I'll go and get a mission from him, and we'll do that, and then we will finish up for today, guys. Okay, we are here with Vince Dabrowski. Oh, and there's a great con attacking me. I think I accidentally flew too close to him. What is this? Summon teammates? Go away. Go away. So yeah, I could summon my demons here, but I'm getting ready to stop, so I'm just going to kill this guy since he's a Grey Con. There we go. So we're going to talk to Vince, get a mission from him. He says, hey there, Nightmare Last. There's one thing to get straight from the start. I work for the Consortium. Nah, that ain't the right way to put it. I live for the Consortium. Help us out, and we can both make a profit. Turn against us, and you have no greater enemy than Vince Dabrowski. Got it? Yes. Okay, so he wants us to go to Siren's Call and check it out. And talk to the Warzone Liaison, which guys I will do off-screen. And I'll bring you back next time after Triple XP weekend is over because I don't want to just earn too much XP. So I'll see you after that. Until then, I am Scrapperlock, and this is City of Villains.